Hello, it's Georgia Old Dog Rescue. I just wanted to introduce you to our newest foster. This little girl here, this is this is Pumpkin. She's 10 weeks old. She's super, super cute. Beautiful personality. Um, he hasn't really got any idea that she's a poorly girl. But she has spina bifida. And for her that means um, that she is fecal incontinent and that's why she's got this little nappy on here. Um, it's been a very very busy day for her. I'm trying to get this this angle right here, I'm not doing very well. Sorry, that's better, you can see her now. Um, she's had a very very busy day. We've had our volunteers, um, Linda and Paul came up to meet us um, with her, collected her from her owner, her, her breeder. Um, and uh, that lady surrendered, surrendered her to us um, so that we can look after her. Um, she is going to see Tom Bingham tomorrow um, for the once over. And then tomorrow night she will be going to live with Kath and Rowley, our fundraising managers um, up in Manchester, um, where she will be looked after for the rest of her life. Um, she's a really super girl. She hasn't got a clue there's anything wrong with her. And I just wanted to say welcome to Rescue Pumpkin and thank you to our volunteers who've worked so hard today. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Well, um, Pumpkin's second big day in Rescue. We're here at Walpole and Bingham to come and see Tom. Just for the once over, make sure she's okay. Say hello. Say hello. Good girl. See you in there. Hi everyone, this is Little Pumpkin. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at that face, eh? <laughs> we love you very much. Anyway, Little Pumpkin's, Pumpkin's got a bit of spina bifida and she tends to be pooing all over the place, but with a bit of luck we can sort that out all right. <laughs> seen Tom, he was really impressed with her. He said it's great that she um, can feel herself weeing. Um, and that he's now put her on some medication to try to help her with a solid, more solid poo. So we're going to go home now for a cuddle and prepare for our journey up to Kath tonight. Well done, Pumpkin. I just thought it might be helpful um, to show you where on the body you might see a sign for, for spina bifida, apart from the symptoms, of course. And this is this, this dimple here. So it's like an, a depression. If you feel the spine, there is actually a there is actually a dip, and it's a, a, a in simple terms, I guess it's a it's an exposed um, part of the cord, um, and a, a, a lack of can you see that dip? A lack of uh, cover um, from the from the vertebrae. So the vertebrae are missing in that area, and you see this tail this dip above the tail. Um, you can also see that she's doing super well. Um, come on, Papa. Come say hi. It's a good girl. Here we go then, off to Auntie Kath's. She says, what's going on now? We'll be there in about an hour or so. And you're about to... You're about to go to see your new mummy. Mwah! See you later! Mum's Auntie Cat, <laughs> Uncle Rolly, and new mummy and daddy. I'm going to grab my bits out of the car. <laughs>
Hey everybody, it's Rolly from Bulldog Rescue. Here's our special little girl that's come into rescue, Pumpkin. She's come staying with us. Um, she's special because she has spina bifida. She's 10 weeks old and she's 7.3 kilograms, but she's doing really well. She's settled in well, but if you'd like to help Pumpkin or else any of the dogs what are in the rescue, you can do by following the link at the bottom of the video and um, help us to look after them. Thank you very much.